Hello everybody, it's Joe from Operation Development. Today, I'm bringing, I'm starting a game project. It's a hangman game. And this time, I'm going to uh, take you step by step how I make it. And this is what I want to do for the channel. Produce a game and try to let y'all guys know how I, how I made it. And by the end, I'm, I'm going to separate it in parts. By the end, I might uh, put the whole game project in Google Drive or video files or something. But on this part, I'm just going to uh, draw all the hangman stuff, then put in Unity. And in the next part, I'm going to start coding it. Alright, I'm going to open up Pimp software that I use. No. I like the picture be 512, not too big, don't want to overkill it. I'm going to start doing the head. Using the color picker, and what I want to do is it's gonna redo it again, make make this white so it doesn't make the whole circle black. Okay, that's good. I press the delete key. Uh, I press the delete key. And what I'm about to do is go to layers, transparency, add alpha. And what this is going to do is try to use the color picker, pick inside the color, circle, delete. And what this is going to do is when I add it on a Unity screen, I add on my game screen. It's gonna just show this black circle. That's all I want. Let me see this. Don't see this. I'm just do the same thing over. I'm, I'm going to create the, the body. I'm going to center it off. Do the same thing like before. Go
Now with this, I can really just use this for the arms and the legs. Just tilt it side to side. And what I'm gonna do now is open up Unity. And for this game, I'm using 2D instead of 3D. So you gotta check the 2D mark under. Make sure to check 2D. And then, what I usually add is I have Visual Studios. So I just added tools to it. Sometimes I add character if I do 3D to practice around. Just for now, I'm just add pro prototyping. You don't have to do it, but create project. Okay, take a little longer. I like to uh, create like a separate folder for me. So in this folder, I'm with this project at assets. Inside that folder, I like to break things down like textures, my own objects, materials, etc. So right now see I'm just only gonna bring the textures in. And there's two ways you could do that. You could bring accept assets, import new asset. I usually just like to go on a folder textures and bring it down like this and for this being a 2D game gotta make sure the sprite 2D is click Gotta make sure 
and press apply. Press apply to. Make sure the scene's on 2D too. Well, that's what I wanted to show y'all guys. Just did the first part, just setting it up. Just put all the items in inside of Unity. The next part, I'll show you how to place items on the screen. Make sure y'all know how to uh, use the correct spacing method for it. Until next time, guys. Bye.